So overall, the Priority 600 is a really nice bike for touring. Uh, you can get a frame pack in there just fine. Uh, you can get some storage on the front of the bike, uh, but keep it light. So my camera equipment is in my handlebar bag, and then I have other light gear in the two small packs. And then on the back is where your weight is, and you just have to you just have to realize that when you're going up the hill. <laughs> so, uh, but it works out really well. But like other people have said in other reviews, the Priority 600 is a mediocre bike from a quality perspective that's been married up to the pinion drive and the pinion drive in my mind is what makes this bike ideal i love it uh, it's smooth it's quiet it gets me up some very steep hills uh, anything above 13 percent i'm probably going to be walking up uh, but i don't mind a hike a bike occasionally but this basically gets me up anything that could be thrown at me. It's comfortable. The seat actually is very comfortable. And uh, the only thing I have to do now is find a handlebar that's swept back at a different angle and maybe gives me a, uh, an option for putting some of the gear out front. Um, the Surly Moloko bar uh, is what I've been looking at. But there's a Jones bar and there's butterfly bars and I've got to look at the options. So. Anyhow, I'll deal with this. Uh, I'll deal with this for now, and uh, and we'll see how how I fare in looking for a new bar. But uh, don't hesitate to jump on your Priority 600 and go for a camping trip. It's beautiful. So connection points on the uh, front fork are an issue. The only brazon, I guess, is what we call it, that we have is down here. There is no other uh, connection point at all. So when I had my tubus front rack on, I had to use a hose clamp. This is not a hose clamp, by the way. I had to use a hose clamp, uh, Rube Goldberg configuration, to provide a second connection point for my tubus rack. And then on the tubus rack, I had some very heavy uh, panniers. So that was unstable, number one, uh, made steering and control of the bike difficult when going uphill very, very slowly and when coming downhill. And so I decided to reconfigure everything and I got these fork packs, which are very light, and they came with a connector uh, for bikes without the proper connection points. So I've got it bolted in here and connected up here and I only carry very light items in here. This is my ditty bag for actually walking to the uh, to the shower room at a campsite and uh, or walking down to the water and washing up and brushing my teeth at shaving. And over here are on the other side I just have uh, rain jackets, wind jackets, vests, and other very, very light material. So that seemed to work out very well. Put a lot of weight in the back of the bike, but it worked out very well. I've had a couple of questions about my bags. First of all, um, I put a ribbon on the right side bag, and that allows me to set the right side bag up for connecting to the rack. And I always know that goes on the right side. Um, after I did this configuration, uh, I went on a uh, went on a trip with all of my gear, and I found that this pack had things in it that were way too heavy, and so the the bike was really top heavy. And someone asked a question as to why I'm using a bike packing seat pack um, for bike touring. Well, I could use another bag of some other kind, but I own this one. Uh, I use this on my uh, on my carbon fiber bike for credit card touring. And so I had it and it works. It's waterproof and it's spacious and it works. But now I've taken some of the heavier items out of that bag. And the only thing in there are my clothes and my sleeping quilt, which is down and very light. 
So I've, I've taken the weight and I've shifted the weight down into the two panniers so they sit low on the bike. Again, uh, very much more stable. The original kickstand that came with this basically attached to the chainstay. And when you, this, this works fine for just a priority 600 that you use for commuting. But when you apply weight to it, that kickstand rotates on this. No matter how tight you get it, it rotates. As a matter of fact, I tried to tighten it down and I broke the cast aluminum uh, that was uh, that it was made out of So then I went out and I bought a beefier one that actually had two connection points and While this one wasn't a horrible problem. It did hold up the weight It really buggered up the paint even though I had put some uh, protective uh, material on it an old inner tube and it was heavy and it sat, it had to, because of the two connecting points, it had to sit so far forward uh, that my, the, the rear of my foot would hit the, um, hit the kickstand and that just was unsatisfactory. So uh, I went to the click stand and I'll show you that next. So the kickstand on my priority has been replaced by the click stand. The click stand to be effective, before you put it out, you have elastic cords that come with the click stand, two of them, and you put one around your handlebar, one around your handlebar and brake, and that will keep the brake on and that is key to the click stand working. This is intended to give you a reference for how the click stand packs up very light. It's like a, it's like a modern uh, tent post. Uh, it comes in four sections with that uh, U piece at the top and then for a slight extra cost, you can get a, uh, a rubber foot that allows you to set it up in sandy or loose soil conditions. This is perfect. This is the flat bar that comes with the Priority 600. When you get it all decked out with those items that you need or desire when you're doing a tour, there's very little option for placing your hands anywhere but on the handlebar grips. And after four, five, six hours in the saddle, uh, you really want to get those extra hand positions. Right now, I'm looking around for the perfect bar and I haven't come up with one yet, but I'm looking around for it and uh, we'll see. I need something that will give me more than just two hand positions.